Hi there, everyone. I thought I'd display my new little toy I've been tinkering with. <laughs> Not toy, but tool for uh, improving the workflow of my scans. It uh, Normally I spend quite a bit of time getting a perfect or as near perfect scan as I can on the first go. Um, and I usually end up with problems tracking towards the end sometime when I would get to extreme angles. I was watching a lot of videos and uh, I got this idea of having depressions and projections on a plate and behind the object. It was a culmination of ideas from different users on the official Rebel Point Pop user group site and uh, put it together and it, I'm impressed with how it works so far. I might make some other changes but I just wanted to do this real time. I usually condense my videos to reduce the uh, upload time and all that business because my internet's not that great way out here in the desert. But uh, I wanted to show you this. I posted a little teaser last night before I went to bed and got a lot of interest. So I thought I'd just do a real-time scan. I'm really pleased with the way it reacquires the tracking. Um, that was always my problem before I would get to one extreme or the other, either the top or the bottom of the subject. As I move the pop on my articulated mount, and I would end up losing tracking and have to compromise my scan. But this one right here, this is some of the best results I've gotten so far in this particular hand, which you can see is kind of feature poor. I didn't sculpt a lot of detail in it. By the way, this hand is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this hand is one it's, uh, I sculpted, I think, when I was in the hospital in 2000 and did a lot of sculpting. I, I had to pass the time. I was on heavy-duty painkillers. I lost half my stomach in that surgery, so um, <laughs> I had a tube down my nose for three and a half weeks and couldn't eat anything by order of the doctor, NPO as they call it, a vacuum on my stomach all the time to keep it dry so it would heal since the doctor, the surgeons, I had two surgeons, sutured it across the middle and uh, took that part out. The middle band was, was necrotic or dead. They took that part out and uh, sutured it back together, gave me about half to two-thirds of a stomach and that's how I ended up not being obese again. <laughs> I originally had the, an apparatus on my stomach to control my eating so I wouldn't be obese. But that's a, another time, a different story, a different age. We're now in the 21st century and we're scanning. This is so cool. That plate <clears throat> I made on my laser cutter my CO2 laser, laser cutter, little 40 watt Chinese built laser K40. And I decided to uh, cut out the shapes and then use the shapes to make projections. So I have three millimeter depressions at random and three millimeter projections at random. The density is enough that I can maintain tracking from the very top of the subject all the way down to as low as I can get with my pop rig set up on on my selfie articulated mount. I'm gonna have to get another one because this one just I have to keep tightening everything all the time. It's not a good one to use. I I bought it because I wanted something real cheap to try but now that I know that it works well I can step up a little bit. I want to thank all the members of the group, the Rebel Point Pop Group, the official site run by Rebel Point 3D for their suggestions which led to this idea. The crinkled paper behind the subject, the wrinkled cloth, textured fabric, lumps of clay applied on or near the object, they all contributed to my thought plus the Creality turntable when I saw it I thought 
thought, boy, that's a pretty slick idea. So I have to admit, Creality, I snagged it, but I didn't copy it directly, so don't sue me, please. By the way, I do have a scan lizard coming, so we'll see what we can get under the same conditions, same setups, same models, everything. I, I was a test engineer for seven years, so I, I'm, I'm test and fixture oriented. Reproducibility is, is my trademark. I used to work at a ventilator plant, built a lot of test fixtures, designed a lot of jigs and rigs, and there's the scan. It looks pretty good, if you ask me. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll post it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.